to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Gosefer starting as the black Protoss. This is on Vermeer. And this is the official first match of BSL Season 15. Also League. Group A. So the replays are all over the place for this one. They're not really well labeled. And I'm just going to do my best. There are a lot of uh, scheduling conflicts, is my understanding, in Hasu League this season. So I think there is a match I'm doing after this, which is actually, I believe, either the losers or, or final match. I'm not even sure. But I'm just going to cast all of these matches, put them out there, and hopefully it'll sort out by the round of eight. So it almost feels like the round of 16 feels more like the round of 32 this season, just because of all those scheduling conflicts. And we'll play out from there. Gosefer versus Doodle feels like a classic matchup from Hasu League. I think both these guys are contenders. If I was going to give a favorite this season, I would say that Kiko, Rancor, or Fisheye, if he's playing solid, they are back this season. Not sure what group stage they made it to. It's a little bit more scattered this season as well because there was extended play in the initial stages with the Continental. So you had people all over the place. And so Gosu League is a little bit stacked. And maybe what I'm going to do is if I... If this ends up going a little bit shorter than previous seasons because of the lack of replays, potentially what I'll do is also see if I can cast some Gosu League matches. Might be fun. Probe Scout initially going bottom left for Doodle. Looks like we're seeing an Assimilator Gateway opener. Same on the opposite side of the map. Ghostfer going for a cross spawn scout. Between these two guys, I'm expecting an exciting match because either one could win it. Doodle has solid macro play. Gosefer knows how to win it. Usually is pretty solid on the macro as well. Can be a little bit weak versus Cheese, as we've seen in previous seasons. Cybernetic score warping in. Three probes in gas. Doodle getting an eyeful. Might end up with an advantage because you can see Gosefer going to end up with a last scout against Doodle. And Doodle actually, with an initial zealot, very likely going to be able to blockade that ramp and might even honestly have a Dragoon out sooner rather than later. anti manor Pylon amongst the mineral line to prevent Gosefer from striking any economic damage. First sell it out as well, chasing down Doodle's probe. But yeah, both these guys... Really, really strong competitors. It's unfortunate, actually, that they're facing each other in the round of 16, because this almost feels like it's a round of eight, round of four matchup. Really stacked. That's kind of the thing with Gosu League, or sorry, with Hasu League. I'm actually, there's a lot of stacked Protoss, so it feels like if you have strong ZVP or TVP, it'd be a good way to go ahead and make your way towards the finals. Gosefer hanging out outside, realizing that Zealot blockading the way, and it looks like that probe has lost some shields. We know he tested that front door. Zealot really chasing down this probe. Out on open field. Range. An initial Dragoon. Range. Dragoon. Doodle up. Half a probe because I think of a later scout. So later scout and I think ended up inside his opponent's base. Dragoon flooding forward. Gosefer wants to make sure that he... So that probe's been spotted. Wants to move this Dragoon back so he can go ahead and deny information. That is one aspect of Ymir of how you got this funnel gap. And so there's a lot of opportunity to deny information. Two Zealots out for Doodle. And it looks like he's going to go two gate. So he went uh, one gate Robo into two gate. Kind of going a middling defensive path. We do have one gate robotics facility opposite side for Doodle, which could be a build order advantage if he gets that Reaver out first and takes his natural expansion. It looks like Gosefer might. So he's actually going to follow this up with the gateway, but on a bit of delay compared to Doodle, he does have a three probe advantage. Robotics facility up. For Doodle ahead of Gosefer as well. A few of the attack troops. I think there's one additional Dragoon. Might have been the difference here. And a pause from Doodle to go ahead and get his tech out a little bit earlier. Observatory first. On this side, no observatory as of yet because the robotics facility not finished. But Gosefer is going to have a little bit of map control where you can go ahead and peek into that natural expansion. Confirm 
that it wasn't one gate or two gate into expand. Confirming it, going ahead and backing out. Wisely so, because he doesn't have any, gate informa any additional gated information. Additional zealots being produced from Doodle, which suggests to me that he wants to maybe go for something aggressive here. Robotics facility up in that corner. He's going to go for an observer before anything, but I expect him to go ahead and make a strike at that natural expansion. Robotics support bay coming online. Observer first, no shuttle. A zealot potentially going to sacrifice his life to confirm, but I love what Doodle did. He didn't move out all of his zealots. He didn't move out all of his dragoons. He only presented the three dragoons on the low ground to provide the absolute bare minimum amount of information to Gosefer, as far as troop counts, as far as timing of that expansion, etc. Gosefer getting that expansion down a little bit earlier, following up with the Reaver, which is going to go on the low ground. So Doodle going to need to play aggressive and get some damage done. Way behind is actually, looks like cut probe production altogether. So looking for a timing here to smash into Gosefer. 19 probes versus 27. Potentially going to wait for that second Reaver. And then between the mix of Dragoons and Zealots, try to smash into Gosefer's natural expansion. However, Gosefer could stymie this because he's holding these high ground locations. And depending on how these troops move out, he might be able to kind of do a staggered walking attack, chip into the troop counts from these high ground positions, and maybe turn that around into a hold, does have a reaver on the low ground, isn't going to have a shuttle to protect, so that can be a challenge and a difference in the match. Gosefer wandering up, sees the two gate, sees the grouping of zealots, and might, yeah, is going to catch wind of the rest of the tech as well. The observer is going to see these troops on the high ground, so can bully it up, but Doodle's Gotta get a move on. Shield battery dropping down from Ghost for recognizing the potential timing attack. So Doodle scooching forward. Yeah, wants potentially wants to lead with the Reavers, use this observer spot, take those pot shots, just force everything off the high ground, and that is actually gonna give him a big boon because he's got two Reaver shots that were guaranteed right there. In the initial engagement. Two Reavers walking forward, the shield battery is here. Gosefer initially angling to the right, wanting to maybe go for a pincer attack, but now backing up, dropping a pylon on the front. He's down as far as raw army count, and is also down a shuttle. The Dragoons moving forward, however, not targeting the Reaver. Zealots peeling to the Dragoons to the north. Reaver shots, taking out the Reaver to the south. Second Reaver peeling back out of the battle. That's been taken out as well. Doodle, however, low on Dragoons as far as a follow-up, and there's plenty of Dragoons left for Gosefer to go ahead and wipe out that shuttle with the Reaver inside. Reinforcements getting cut off. So Gosefer defends. And a lone Dragoon left. Doodle still doesn't have his natural expansion. Gosefer up 10 probes. Has his shuttle up and Doodle recognizes he's too far behind economically to win the match. So calls a GG right there. Didn't pay out. This time, we will see if it pays out in game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Or actually, I think it's the best of one to start, and this was the best of one. We'll know in the next replay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.